What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my let's play of WWE 2K17, my career mode, fighting Shinsuke Nakamura again, which at least today is appropriate because NXT TakeOver is tonight, and the Royal Rumble is tomorrow. But again, I'm in the tag team division, so this does seem a little bit pointless. Not gonna get attacked on the ramp, gonna have this match with Nakamura once again! Uh, and he blocks his own move, because obviously he would know his own move better than anybody. But, welcome to Saturday. As I said, takeover is the seating referee out of position. Thanks a lot, you crooked-ass official being out of position. Uh, and that, sh that should have been a three count, like, right away. Because uh, he was down lo long enough for it to be a three count. But no, big German suplex. So yes, uh, the excitement is building as we head towards uh, the kickoff to the road to WrestleMania, uh, which is tomorrow. And man, the predictions, and I put mine up, so I guess go go watch that. But man, they are all over the place for this show. Like, I don't necessarily have a good handle on just what in the blue hell to expect for this show. I think the principal issue I have with it right now is that you've got three pre-show matches, right? And Angle Slam. And, uh... That means, minus the Rumble, you have four matches for three hours, essentially. Because the Rumble itself is usually about an hour, and we, we know that because the record for being in the Rumble the longest was Rey Mysterio at 62 minutes. And he was in there at number one, I believe, that year? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. That happens a lot. Um, but yes, it's about an hour. Uh, so, that being said, uh, when you've got essentially three hours and you've got four matches, that's kind of crazy. Now, it's possible that, that, you know, they want the kind of adulation that Omega and Okada got at, at, at Wrestle Kingdom, you know, and so they're, oh, let's have longer matches. People love that shit. And I'm like, yeah, that works, except, except when those matches might not need to be that long. Uh, and if you don't have the talent to be able to carry a 45 five-minute match, that's kind of a problem. So, you know, I could certainly see Cena and AJ going 45. I don't necessarily see a need for Bailey and Charlotte to go 45. Like, that seems, uh, you know, insane. But also, I'm sure we'll have something, something with Seth freaking Rollins to get him in the Rumble or some kind of shenanigans because him not being in the Rumble is like, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. He's one of their top guys to, to not be in the biggest match of the year, or, you know, one of them seems insane. But we all know they're setting up for Triple H and Rollins, so this is just kind of how we get there. And my idea, and this is still, I think, a fantastic idea, is, or would have been, and, you know, I, I, I guess there's still a chance for it to happen, but my, my idea would have been for... Seth Rollins to show up at TakeOver tonight, because TakeOver is live, and he knows that Triple H runs NXT, so why not show up where you know he's going to be? That would make logical sense to me, and then the way in my head it worked was that, okay, he does that at TakeOver, the next night Rollins is in the Rumble, out comes Triple H, throws him out, and then starts that feud. But if Rollins isn't even in the Rumble, that doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> So, like I said in my predictions, I think there is certainly a... What? Finn Balor, look! Balor, boy, we were done. What the fuck is your problem, Finn Balor? Couldn't have to help your boy from Japan. I see how it is. This is some, this is some horse shit, Finn Balor. This is some horse shit, and I'm sick of it. We are not in a feud. You won my title. Leave. Me. Alone. I don't understand this need for you to continue to come out. And fuck with me. I'm done with you, Finn Balor. Over. Over. Eat it, yeah. This game is obsessed. Obsessed with having Finn Balor screw with me, even though I am no longer in that division. Hold on. I swear my phone only rings when I'm in the middle of recording something. Anyway... How did you feel about him ambushing you tonight during your own match? We have nothing new here. He got me heated, son. My matches are the best. I got ambushed? That's the that's the cocky response. I got ambushed? 
Let's talk about Finn Balor. I got ambushed? Wait, the game broke. She asked me the same question again, and now I don't have an answer in text form. So you know what? I'm gonna have to wing it. I got ambushed? I couldn't tell. It felt like a mosquito I had to brush off. He came in, got clocked in the mouth. That's what you get, Finn Balor. I'm in the tag division. Leave me alone. Be gone. Well, that was fantastically broken. Let's move on. Week four, heading towards TakeOver in England and fighting Finn Balor. I'm in the tag division. Like, what is this game's obsession? I don't understand. I really, really don't. Oh boy, here we go again with that Balor boy. Uh, knee to the face. Tired of it. Tired of it. Anyway, normally I have some news here on this very show, but even though the Rumble is tomorrow, the news is pretty slim. I didn't find a whole lot to talk about, so that's unfortunate. So I can just sit here and continue to further speculate on what in the blue hell uh, is going to be in the Rumble. Now we have 22 officially announced competitors in the match, uh, which means you have a number of slots there. That could be anybody. Um, and I think uh, Ellsworth is a safe bet, and I'm hoping to see an Ellsworth and Goldberg interaction in the Rumble. I think if you brought out Goldberg at number, or no, if you brought out Ellsworth at number one, and then brought out Goldberg at number two, that'd be hilarious. Um, but, you know, that, 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 that's just me. Um, and uh, I think we had heard a rumor months back about the return of the Boogeyman, uh, and I think having a rumble spot, you know, kind of would make some semblance of sense there if you're going to do that. Uh, obviously, the big speculation is Kurt Angle, and he has said on the record that he's not going to be in the match itself. But, like a lot of wrestlers, they say things, and then they do them anyway, so I, I wouldn't put too much stock into... No, grab him. Grab him. Wouldn't put too, too much stock into what Kurt's saying and what he's actually doing in that match. Um, but it could be a number of things. Uh, drop kick to the face. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but it is still one, 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 one of, if not my favorite show of the year. So uh, I am pretty hyped for it. But at the same time, it's six hours. That's like a quarter of my day. And I'm like, I got things to do. To set aside six hours on any given day for anything is a lot to ask. So it makes you wonder just how in the hell long will WrestleMania be this year uh, if the Rumble is six hours. Uh, I feel like it's going to be even longer than that. And that's just, at a certain point, it is all day, er day wrestling, which is kind of, you know, I like wrestling. Don't get me wrong, you know. I've, you know, uh, got to stop saying you know. Got to stop saying you know. You know and certainly are words that I must eliminate, delete from my vocabulary because it's getting pretty bad here on this show. But you put you put out enough video on YouTube every day and it's hard to think of new words to say to keep things fresh and... Somewhat compelling. Emma doing work. Thank you, Emma. Thanks, Emma. Where's Emmalina? Will she debut on Raw this week? Please? Pretty please? Can we have an Emmalina debut? I would really like that. It's been like three months of vignettes, and that's kind of too much. Like, Emmalina has had more vignettes than The Shining Stars had, and I thought that was a lot. Now get on the top rope. You fucking clown. Clown shoes! Here we go. Once again, I will defeat you with your own finishing maneuver, Mr. Balor, and send you packing. Or no, I guess not send you packing, because you kicked out. Now, did he use his finish to kick out? Yes. All right. So now, if I can pre prevent him from getting another finisher, which uh, may or may not happen. Nope. Knee to the face. Um, I would like to do my comeback at some point. I figured out what the problem was. I have to run and then hit triangle. That's the problem. Uh, that I was just It's not just hitting triangle. And I had forgotten that that was the case. Uh, but whether or not I can actually ever manage to do one of those, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Not cool, Finn Balor. 
not cool. Haha. Oh, nice reversal. I can appreciate that. But I can't appreciate getting my ass whipped. Because you started this shit, Finn Balor. I was minding my own damn business fighting Shinsuke Nakamura. And you decided that you wanted to get on my case again. Even though you took my NXT title. And I was like, you know what? You can have it. Because all I want are those damn tag titles. But no, you couldn't leave well enough alone. Even though you know I'm better than you are. And have beaten you numerous times. Could not leave well enough alone. So, this is where we're at. This is the crossroads we are at with this shit. And, uh, boom. I will continue to stomp a mud hole and walk a drag. Whether or not you get another purple, uh, body part like, like what happened last time, that remains to be seen. But, I will hit the 630 slug senton. Don't dodge it. Nice. And watch him use that to kick, kick, kick out again. Watch. Two. He didn't use it. Dumbass. I would've. And I am not going to break out because I think I proved my point once. Boom! Again to Mr. Finn Balor. Seriously. But look, if that match could somehow give me a rank increase, I would have no complaints. None whatsoever as we head towards TakeOver London. I'm fighting... Why? Why do I have to fight Balor and Nakamura 8,000 times? I, I guess I, I have to get into another feud. So tomorrow, we'll do main event and take over. And then I will have to choose another feud. Metadores, Enzo and Chaos, Revival. Those are my kind of options, I guess, to do that. So that'll be tomorrow, I guess, or the next day, or something. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. A bunch of them this weekend. Go watch them. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.